School's out and families are looking for something to do. Well, here's an idea. Head to the U.S. Space and Rocket Center. Joining me now is Tim Hall with some information on a brand new exhibit. Tim, thanks for being here this morning. Actually, you met great. Appreciate the opportunity to talk with you guys. Yeah, tell us a little bit about this new exhibit. Well, really, really excited. Of course, Space and Rocket Center is known for Space Camp. Mm -hmm. And uh, you also come through and you see the history of manned space flight. But what we've done is we've taken... Uh, some items that we've been able to receive from a museum, a children's museum in another place. Mm -hmm. And we've opened a kind of a special museum, a special exhibit just for the smallest of children. So when you come to the Space and Rocket Center, you, you think about rockets and models and things mm -hmm. that adults, maybe older kids would like. Summer Smart Play is the name of it. You know, for such a long period of time, folks have walked through and said, beautiful museum, mm -hmm. great facility, but we didn't feel like we really met that need. And now when the little children go through, there's something just for them. So what are some of the things they can experience? Well, what we're doing is it, there's a there's a long machine that looks like a telescope, mm -hmm. but it's really kind of explains vibration and sound, and the children go up and beat on the end of it, and they hear the reverberation of sound. Okay. There's a coolest little piece of equipment that you sit on, and it's kind of like sitting in a little church bench or a little church pew, and it starts the shaking motion, and it simulates an earthquake. Wow. And so we teach children about energy and about motion. Very and interactive science. It, really, and that's the best part about it is children are having fun, they're playing, they don't realize they're learning about science, they're learning about math, they're learning about energy. And safety, there is a hands-on storm shelter too. You bet. Uh, we're well aware in the Tennessee Valley and mm -hmm. in our part of the country about tornadoes and severe thunderstorms. And so we let them walk through this uh, tornado shelter and you get an idea of if you're home alone, if you're by yourself, if mom and dad are at work or your grandparents are away and a storm happens to come up, how do you take care of yourself? What do you do? They go them. in this storm shelter and it does teach them. It gives them a That's real great. good hands-on first look at what it's about. Wonderful. That's something for the kids to do. What are some things that parents can do real quickly? Well, they can drop them off at Summer Smart Play yeah. and they can go have fun <laughs> and have a babysitter for a short amount of time. But, but seriously, when you come through the Rocket Center, uh, there are so many things for the adults to, to understand about America's space program. How did we get to the moon? Where did all this begin? Where did it start? Uh, out in Rocket Park, there's Space Shot, which takes off at a couple of G's, and so it shoots you up, you come back down, you go back to pick up your stomach, and then you come back <laughs> down, and then there's G-Force, which spins you around at 55 miles an hour, and uh, you've seen those at the county fairs yes. and maybe at Six Flags, but it really also teaches about energy. So adults can have fun, children can have fun, but the space Learning Rocket about Center, science at all ages. Yeah, we love it because now there's something for everybody, and that's the best thing, Ashley. Absolutely. Thank you, Tim, for being you here bet. with us this morning. If you want more information, you can check us out on our website at WIET.com.